All right. So we would ask, do you have a trapped emotion that we can release now that's contributing to your issue? And what does her body say? It says yes, that's a yes answer. So now at this moment, we immediately go to the chart that you should have in your phone. Now, if uh, if you don't, if you're not getting the app, what you can do is you can go to uh, you can go to Google and just search for emotion code chart, and you'll find zillions of them. Okay. All right. All right. So um, so we know she has a trapped emotion that it pertains to her issue. What emotion is this? Is it listed in the chart in column A? No. So if it's not in column A. Where is it? Column B. Column B. It's got to be in column B. So is it in one of the odd rows in column B? Yep. So do you see where we are? We figured out the column first. We asked if it was in A, body said no, so it's in B. Now we're gonna figure out the rows. We know it's in an odd row in column B. So it's gotta be row one or three or five. So is it in row one in column B? Is it in row three in column B? Or in row five in column B? So it's in row five in column B. That's the one that goes strong. So now we can look at our chart of emotions on our phone, which we just downloaded, and we say, okay, hmm. so what was it? Three, five, column B. Row five, column B. Conflict, creative insecurity, terror, unsupported, <coughs> issue, wash it. Let's try it. Is the emotion conflict? Is that what it is, huh? Is it creative insecurity? Is that what it is, no? Is it terror? Is that what it is? Mm -mm. Is it unsupported? Oh, that's it. Unsupported. Feeling unsupported. Does that ring a bell at all? Yeah. Does that make sense with your issue? Yeah. It makes sense with your issue. We don't even know what your issue is. Still works, okay? So let's ask now. Now you'll notice here we figured out the emotion, okay? And now if we follow the chart, we go over here and it says, do we need to know more about this emotion? Do we need to know more? Let's find out. Do we need to know more about this emotion? Emotion and her subconscious mind says yes, we do need to know more. Now, when you need to know more, usually the first thing that you'll usually all you'll have to do if this happens is you figure out when did it occur. These are the optional questions here. So let's find out. So when did this occur? How old are you right now? Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Let's divide her life in half and ask uh, did this occur earlier than age ten? And her body says, yep, it occurred earlier than ten. So let's divide that span of 10 years in half. Did this occur earlier than age five? No. So it occurred around age five? Is that when? No. Did it occur around age six? No. Just keep resisting. Did it occur around age seven? Around age eight? Bingo. Did it occur around age nine? No, that's weaker. Go back to age eight. Strong. Strong on eight. Eight, did it occur at age seven? No. Age eight? Eight is strong. So it occurred at age eight. Now, when we go back like this, it's usually accurate within a year, give or take, okay? So you might have actually been seven or maybe nine, but right around in that time frame. Does that ring a bell at all? That doesn't ring a bell. Does that bother me? No. Why? You know why? Because her conscious mind remembers very little. What'd you have for breakfast last Tuesday? Nothing. She doesn't remember, so. All right, so now that we need to know more about this, no, we don't. See, sometimes you need to dig a little bit deeper and figure out, you know. See, the subconscious mind wants to release these emotional energies, but it will only do so when it's, when you've identified enough information about it. Most of the time, all you need to do is just figure out what the emotion is, but sometimes you'll have to dig a little bit better, okay, like we did here. You ready? Face that way. Then to release it, just like it says here, okay, you swipe down back three times if it's a regular trapped emotion, which th that's what this is, 10 times if it's inherited, okay? And that's all it takes. All right, face this way. Now the issue that you were having, was it a physical thing at all? Yeah. It wasn't a physical thing, okay, that's fine. Take a deep breath and resist, ready, hold it, okay. So now let's ask, um, you can breathe, sorry. Go ahead, take a walk right now. Take a walk, see how that feels. Oh, that's far enough. Come on, buddy. <laughs> She's headed for the next county. Okay. So now at the very, very end, what we do is we come back here and we ask, did we release that trapped emotion? We want to make sure we released it. Did we release that trapped emotion? 
And her body says, yes, we do. So that particular energy, even though it had been in there since eight years old, that's gone now, see? And when we release one of these, they don't come back. They're gone. Permanent. 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 There you go. Thank you very much.